Okay, this is how to do a Jamila tuck. Some shoe girls will call this a cradle spin. I like to call it a Jamila tuck because the reason we're doing this trick is to eventually get you strong enough to do a Jamila. So with a Jamila tuck, we're gonna be using a pistol grip on the bottom hand and your top hand is gonna be chin height, no higher. So what I like to do with students is get them to stand next to the pole and then just put their pistol grip on with their inside hand. Their outside hand, we're gonna make a beard and the beard is gonna find the pole. Some students like to go here for the Jamila tucks and it's not gonna help you because when you go to do a Jamila, if your hand is all the way up here, you are not gonna get it. And I know it's like that kind of short-term pain for long-term gain because doing a Jamila tuck with your hand lower is harder, but it will guarantee your life's a bit easier in the future when you actually go to do your Jamilas. So, top hand, chin height, Bottom hand, pistol grip. From here, uh, we're trying to get the pole to land across our hips like a seatbelt. So if you're wearing uh, the shorts, and these are the, the long shorts, you're gonna try and pull them up a little. I wear these shorts because it helps beat the algorithm uh, so I don't get shadow banned on Instagram. But <laughs> we're going to have to pull them up to do a Jamila tuck. So if you've got the shorts on like me, pull them up. If you're wearing like the regular pole shorts, you'll be fine. We're aiming to try and get the pole as high up our leg as possible without uh, going onto our shorts. So I'm gonna go here for my pole and I'm gonna stand behind as an example now. So top hand at chin, bottom hand in a pistol. We're gonna get our leg up as high as possible. You might even like to do a little hip lift because we want the hips high and the bottom hand down low, top hand at chin high. So we're here. Bottom hand down, you can see I kind of reach down for this bottom hand. Inside leg up, nice and high up the pole. And then from here, I'm gonna push with my bottom hand, pull across with my top hand, and try and bring my top hip up and over to the pole. So outside hip, up and over. And that's a gym little tuck. So when I say up and over, it's because I want you to imagine you're lifting yourself into the Jamila tuck. You're not just rolling over and flopping into it. You're gonna lift yourself up and over into the chuck. So if I do the other side, I'm here. Uh, from the front, it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna pull the shorts up. Hand at chin height. One hand down, reaching down a little. Sometimes it's helpful to reach down after you put the leg on. So the leg stays up and the hand goes down. And now if I wanna spin, I'm gonna push off with my outside leg and I'm gonna bring my top hip to the pole. So let's try that. Push, bring it up. Okay, so that's your Jamila tuck. So a few things to remember when you're practicing on your own. One is the pistol grip. So pistol, micro bend in the arm. Top hand, no higher than chin height. I know you're so tempted to put it up there, uh, but just make sure you don't. If you're not sure if you're doing that or not, uh, again, with this trick, we're going to do maximum five attempts on each side per session uh, for beginners. So I would film yourself and then maybe take note of how often you're putting your hand above your chin height to see if it's something that you need to work on. And we're imagining we're lifting ourselves up and over into the trick. So we're not trying to just like flop into it, fall into it. We're lifting ourselves up and over uh, into our Jamila tuck. That's just Willem. Um, <laughs> all right, so this is a Jamila tuck video for beginners. So like the carousel, let's do maximum five each side per session. Um, and especially if you're doing them with the carousel, make sure you're not overdoing it. We don't want to overdo the pistol grip. If you're not sure about your form, make sure you get in contact with me. Uh, so through the members area, send me a little request in the virtual flex area and then we'll have a chat about it. So these tricks should not be painful on your wrists. They should not hurt. We should not be overdoing them. So let's uh, let's work on these for the beginners. And then in the future videos, I'm gonna show you how to do a full Jamila. 